We're going to start the Town of Sangamon Board of Selectmen meeting. It's Wednesday, December 29th, 2021. Last meeting of the year. Start with the Pledge of Allegiance. Pledge of Allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And uh, Chad came here on his day off to help us with item B. So I would oh, suggest we jump right down to that. Sure. You bet. That'd be better. You can get out of here. What Fire department, new business. Um, so first thing we need to discuss is we received a huge donation from a town in Connecticut. It's Newton Town, Connecticut. It's a hook and ladder company. The guy's name is Mike McCarthy. His sister lives here in town somewhere, and I, for the life of me, don't remember what her name was. Um, he got a hold of me just for Thanksgiving. Said, hey, I'm, well, I'm coming up to visit my sister at Thanksgiving. We have a bunch of Jaws equipment we want to get rid of. Are you guys interested? I said, oh, absolutely. So he came up the week, I think it was just before Thanksgiving. Uh, new, brand new set of cutters, brand new set of Jaws. I mean, it, these have been used like two or three times. Reels, hoses, rams, he, don't, he donated the airbags. The only problem with the airbags is I don't think we're going to be able to put them in service. I don't know what we can do with them yet, but... They are out of date. Well, that's a fine line because no, I know. half of them don't have a date on them. Right. The manufacturer's date. So, which one do you go with? You go by one manufacturer who says it's 10 year shelf life. You got another manufacturer that doesn't say that. So I'm trying to find out from the NFPA what the actual regulation is. So we haven't put those into service yet. But um, I figured it to be between twenty-five dollars and $30,000 worth of equipment. So I'm hoping you guys will accept that donation. Yeah, well, we, would, uh, we can accept it on behalf of the town. Is that mm -hmm. fair to say? Yeah. I know if it was a cash donation, for example, uh, we would we we be given permission to accept the cash. Yeah. But I don't know. This this is equipment. It can only be used for equipment, right? I mean, mm -hmm. I don't know why we couldn't. I don't know why. Yeah. Don't know. It's a donation. I mean, we don't. Our line item doesn't specify. Our line item says to allow the select board to accept donation. It doesn't specify monetary whether it's monetary or equipment, or equipment or it just says we have to accept it or we have the ability we have the authority to, to accept right, authority. Right. I, I suppose if some we accepted something of value okay that could be jaws that could be a piece of property it yep. could be it could be anything cryptocurrency and actually we kind of we kind of had the property scenario not that long ago that we declined but we, we kind of went down that road a little already. So then, in theory, now this this asset is an asset of the town, yeah. not necessarily an asset of the fire department. That would be the only place where someone could say, "Well, you should sell that stuff, or you should well do something else with it." That would be the only argument I can imagine I, coming. The only thing for me to say about that is the fire department doesn't own anything. Right. The fire department. In theory, is, that's exactly the fire department is the town's. It's the fire. I, my own view. No, the fire department is a department of the town, no different than public works or any other department, and anything that's in that building is no different than the other building. You can call it fire department, public works, whatever you want, but it's all said and done, it's towns. So that's right. I mean, it's not, it's not a... Correct. I think that's a fair way to look at it. And there's nothing here that has any um, uh, liability or maintenance component that would... Nothing. All it's doing is uh, replacing... What we already had, which is ancient, better stuff. Yeah, and and his rationale for giving it away, <laughs> just a, well, he donated sixteen brand new Scott air packs to this Newton Hook and Ladder Company. They got four stations within a twenty mile radius. They're ridiculously rich, and they update all their equipment every five years. His sister was a school teacher in Dover which had her associated with Monson, so the last donation he made, Monson got, which was all brand new Scott Airfax. Wow. Great connection for the county. Mm -hmm. Yeah. My, honestly, my only concern, I didn't know what about this a little before I got here, 
was the date of those bags and you haven't put them in service and you're researching that. Yeah. So that's the, but yeah. I mean, as far as the equipment, there is no, as far as I know, there isn't a date on any of that you need to worry about. The airbags is, is so the issue. The airbags is the issue. Well, how does the airbag work? An airbag is it, probably about two inches wide. They come in different sizes in a square uh, and they'll blow up to 16 inches. So mm-hmm. set your car right on side. Yeah. Oh, that it's a lifting mechanism. Yes. Yes. Oh, okay. That's exactly what it's I for. I thought it was oh, something you breathe. Same <laughs> here, same here. <laughs> that's why it's, but that's why it's dated because because if it, it fails, if it fails, yeah. you're under it and it comes if it back fails, down. There's, there's a, there's a huge liability. Yeah, that's sure. Okay. Interesting. That's why the that's the only concern. With and, and to be honest with you, I, the airbags don't excite me all that much. There's nothing that, with the airbags. I mean, they're they're pure. Easier convenience, but there's nothing with them airbags that we can't do with the spreaders. Correct. We can lift. I can lift your whole house up with a set of spreaders. Right. Probably get enough locking. Right. Probably. Are those airbags self-deploying, or do you have to put the air in them? I'm no, you, have you, have to, to, you have to fill them up. You do. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, and you have a source of air on yeah. the. Uh-oh. Yeah. So we just need a motion to allow the acceptance of this donation. So I'll make a motion to accept the donation uh, um, of fire, fire equipment. equipment. Second. Second. All in favor? We're all in favor. Great. Sure. Seems like a win-win. Right. Okay. Anything else for the Do fire department you want to? Oh, yeah, I got a whole list. No, it's not that bad. <laughs> um, I do want to get a few things straightened out so that I know I'm doing stuff the right way. We talked last time about like we do the toll road we get that money what what happens to it so if we wanted to spend that money on equipment for the fire station how does that we can't we can't buy it and gift it to the town wait a minute who are you talking you're talking about friends of friends of oh. friends of so friends and this is again i think as far as friends of you would do what you just did. Donate it to the town. But you guys are okay with doing something. It depends like on what it is. Well, yeah, I mean, uh, obviously I, we're not going to do anything without talking to you guys first. I think if we went that direction, then mm-hmm. we'd probably be okay. Okay, mm-hmm. all right. Mm-hmm. I mean, that's my immediate. That seemed, uh, if they always think of it if it were a, a different organization. They, could do, they, they would have a right to donate, but we would have to approve it, just like we just did from Connecticut. So mm-hmm. you guys, in that sense, the only difference would, function, would be, the fa- function the same way. The only difference would be we'd want it approved before we bought it. Yes. So yeah, and I don't know why you couldn't seek that. Uh, mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So for us, for instance, like on cash donations, if we receive anything as cash as far as the town, we have to put it back in the general fund, and we can't actually spend it. All right. Because you're only allowed to spend what you've already budgeted. So we can't receive oh, twenty grand yeah, extra and say, "Oh, you donated twenty grand. I'm going to go do these culverts with that money. Yeah. That money's got to go into the pot next year through the next budgetary." I, I guess we could do that. We could say, "Hey, we got twenty grand donated. Yeah. Instead of pulling that out of taxes, we want to allocate that for a specific use." Probably for your purposes, you're going to want, and we can research this before we go to budget. But let's say. You wanted to buy Jaws. We know you just got some, but that as an example. Um, we would pro- I think it would make sense to put this on the warrant. We have a, a, a request of donation of funds to buy Jaws for the fire department. Do you want to accept this money or not for that purpose? That way you get to buy what you want with it, as opposed to the town just getting money and saying, you know what, we'll just yeah, keep we this money. Yeah, we decided not. Yeah. No, you don't need that. Because we've had, we recently had someone who wanted to give us it was to maintain a monument or something. And we couldn't accept it with those terms. We were going to have to go to the town and say, will you take this money to maintain this monument? Right. And they didn't, they thought, ah, forget it, we don't want to do that. We'll just make a donation. Mm-hmm. So when you get to that, I think when we get to that point, get to us before we go to town meeting, you, you put what you want to donate specifically, and they'll either approve it or they won't. If they say no, you don't have to give them the money. But that kind of leads me down my, my next trail, and I already know that this is going to warrant a lot of discussion that we probably don't even have time for tonight. But I don't really know exactly what the procedures are for buying big equipment. Example, trucks. Um, 
I rescue is getting outdated. And I don't think we need to replace a rescue, but to me, it makes a lot of sense to put that rescue back in a spot and buy a truck, like a one-ton truck, crew cab truck, with a flatbed on the back of it, with a 500-gallon water tank. I mean, it's, it's going to be, I'm sure, $100,000, $150,000 to buy a used one. Uh, again, I don't know what road, I don't even know where it begins, so that's why I'm starting here. It's, I, I know it's a, it's, it's a big uh, undertaking, but it would stop us from having to replace a complete rescue truck and give us the ability to have a smaller rescue truck to run for car accidents, brush fires, grass fires, stuff to that effect. So I don't really know how, what your thoughts are. You want my honest thought? Oh yeah. I wouldn't have, well you, well, you would check me and say I want you to lie to me? <laughs> I, wish, I wish you would. You know, sometimes. Um, initially when you're saying that, my thought is it wasn't very long ago we had a former chief telling us that I don't have enough guys to fill a truck and I'm missing calls because I can't roll a truck out of the station. Yeah. And I, I, I know you're doing a good job and you're trying to get us better and so that was a few years ago. Um, and then we just got into a situation where you wasn't sure about being chief anymore. And we didn't know what we were going to do. And honestly, if you didn't become chief again, the doors were going to get closed and there wasn't going to be a fire station. Yeah. So, so I, 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 I would really, myself, like to see a little bit of time in a better direction of what's going on over there, the way you're going, before I would even want to talk about spending 150 grand over there. So I would... I can say that I can, I'm going to commit, which I've verbally done to those guys over there, to stay unless something drastic happens, to stay on as fire chief until 2025. That's wow. That's going to be my commitment. The reason that's my commitment is because the only reason that my wife and I are still here, and that we didn't actually purchase a place here, is because we're waiting for Abigail to graduate high school. Once Abigail, our youngest, graduates high school, my oldest is in college, so once the youngest graduates, we're moving to Pittsfield because I'm all done driving two hours a day back and forth, but especially once the girls are gone. So my commitment is to stay on as fire chief until 2025. Uh, so we got 36 months. All right. And could it, could it potentially turn out to be longer? There's a potential for it. Now, with that being said, we have guys coming up behind me that are doing fantastic. We had a, we were on a structure fire all night last night. Started at 11 o'clock, we got down to 7 o'clock this morning. Wow. That's why my voice is a little worse. Where was that? Monson. Okay. Yeah, North Guilford Road in Monson. It was a nightmare. Hey. <clears throat> it was one of the best calls we've ever had. We had... The second biggest turnout next to Dover. Guilford could barely produce a crew. Dexter was covering our station here, and we called them and asked them to bring a tanker, and Matt couldn't get a, a driver to bring his tanker up. So, out on that call, we committed, which, you know, committed me. Mm -hmm. We committed our tanker, we committed our pumper. After we dropped all of our four inch holes, and we committed our rescue with the cascade system. Pretty much, if Dover and Sangerville wasn't there, that they would have had enough crew to fight a fire last night. Yeah. So, our fire department, in my eyes, is turning around big time. You know, with the addition of a few different people, there's going to be some officer changes. They're going to start next week. I don't know why you name names, but for officers. Not yet, but I want I just kind of pile on to what did I, I totally agree with what Dale said, and your response to it is exactly what we need to hear. Backing up to your original request, how would that work if if there's a request for a piece of equipment of that particularly of that nature? It would your best line is through the select board. If you can convince two of us that it's what needs to happen, it'll end up on the warrant, and then the people will get to decide whether they want to buy that or not. 
that's how, I mean, it's very simple. That's how it gets there. In order to get at least two of us to support that, I think you need to keep doing exactly what you're doing. We need to hear stories like this. A lot of succession. I mean, literally, we were a few months away from the three of us. Well, it's what's the date? I mean, that was going to close the doors here, December thirty first. And this was your really your first year doing this, and it would look like you weren't going to finish a year. Now things have changed, and you're it sounds like you're back on board with this. But line of succession is as important as anything. If you've got if you're if you're bringing people up in the ranks, and you think that this thing could be viable after thirty six months. We need to know that, and we need to get to know these people. Um, I think that's, I don't know, is that, mm-hmm. it's I, a process. I, I mean, I, I definitely think we're, we're heading down that road. We, I mean, of course, I'm biased, but right now, we're, Guilford's getting ready to go through some huge changes. Dexter's having a pile of trouble, and Sagamon's already gone through their mm-hmm. pile of trouble and huge changes, and now we're heading in the other direction. What uh, the thing that strikes me when you tell me, and I totally believe what you're telling me, uh, because it doesn't surprise me, uh, is I I I see a scenario where we may end up the, where all the towns finally sit back and say, you know what, we we got to start looking bigger picture here. Yeah. We got to start thinking, you know, three communities or county based or because it's manpower, it's not money. Yeah, absolutely, it, it, it's manpower everywhere. So the, my ultimate dream. Would be to have one fire department from Scaticos County. That's. Mm-hmm. I think and it's going to happen. <laughs> you'd do it. You'd run it exactly like Bangor, yep. Augusta, Portland. This would be considered station whatever. Whatever. One, right. two, yep. 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 Three, yep. Four yep. Or five. All and the communities would pull their assets. And then you put two guys at every station. And when you get a call, you know for a fact you've got six guys that are going to respond with three trucks right now. And that could be closer than we realize. If what. The kind of stories you're sharing with us tonight, it, it absolutely is coming. It's coming. Well, I think it needs to come. Yeah. But I think what I would, and we brought this up before in the past. Um, you guys still have your county meetings, right? Yeah, chief meetings. So, how come or can the chiefs drive this? Who could drive it? Well, how do we? Like, yeah. Because we are driving. We drive this. It? We how does it get driven? Honestly. It's the same exact scenario in every single department where you have guys that are 65, 70 years old, and those are the guys that are stopping that, and, that the change. process. That yeah. process. The same people that don't want to leave this building. Right. I mean, not the exact same no, no, people, no, no, the no, same no, mindset. Because right, right. yeah. my view, I mean, I would love to get to where you are. I think that's further out than what we're talking. But if we could get to the point of, the chief saying, in use your station scenario, okay, station ones in Sangerville, I really want those guys to have the cascades. Or I want them to have cascade and jaws. That's going to be, I want you to train that way. That's what I want you to be my resource for. And then this station be, you know, that's my forestry group. Or, you know what I mean? And, and kind of fund it that way and have each areas be that. Because now everybody's extra. trying to do everything. Right, yeah. Right, yeah. Right, and it's right. costing you a, a little bit of everything. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> you know, like you yeah. guys, you had a very old set of jaws, but at the end of the day, if you figured out how many all, how many hours were legitimately on those old jaws for the cost of them, it would scare the hell out of you. Oh, sure. You know what I mean? Whereas. But that, I mean, that, then you get into, we saved the life one day. Sure. Oh, yeah. Sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, but the right, same you deal. Can't, right. you can't put do you need a set of jaws yeah, sitting in Sangamon and Guilford? When you could have just rolled Sangable's truck to Guilford's call? Well, that's what I'm saying. You know what I mean? The way that that would have to work is the same exact way as you'd have to still have a crew here with a battalion chief. Sure. And in each station. Just like Bangor. Just like Portland does. Exactly. Yep. Yep. Um, I, well, so I I think the short answer to your question regarding this truck is it's probably a discussion for this time next year uh, and see where we stand. I mean, unless it's at drop dead critical mass time. But well, I'm trying to avoid it being yeah. drop dead. Well, which is good. You're proactively yeah. addressing this. We're, right now we're running that huge truck which really could be saved for structure fires and bad car accidents. It's really the only time that you, right now we're running it to everything. This How many vehicle, miles are on that? How many miles are on it? Sure. I mean, we, uh, 
that really, I mean, we haven't had that that long. We've had it a while. Well, yeah, we bought it in 2006, I think. Yeah. Six or seven. Yeah. Right in that area. And it was, it's a 91, right? Yeah. Is it I'd right, have to go over and look at that. No. Yeah. So you'd have the mileage, right? Oh, no, they're not oh. They're no, we don't have to do registration. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. yeah. This vehicle you're describing, does does one of the, the surrounding departments have something like it? Uh, Dover has something similar to it, yeah. not exactly the same. Greenville has one, but it's a mobile command unit. Not, I mean, the truck, the truck is what we'd be looking for, just a different asset on it. Yeah, what, what would you, what would it do? So it, well, it avoids. Driving the big staving that truck all up, and we can save that because that that truck is set up phenomenal. You're not going to get another one set up with a cascade system like that. So it would save the wear and tear on that truck and use it for when it be needed. You could have your jaws of life on this truck. It also gives you the ability to be able to run a pump without putting the PTO in. Say you're driving down the road in a field. It's pretty damn handy to drive, be able to drive down the field and spray the hole at the same time versus uh, right. it limits uh, driver certifications. You know, it's a Class C truck. You don't have to worry about that aspect of it. And you get a crew cab, and you can put six guys in it, mm -hmm. or five. Mm -hmm. You can put five guys in it and roll a whole crew. Mm -hmm. You could have, have air packs on it. It would, it would almost become our, next to the pumper, it would be our next main truck. Unless it was a structure fire and you needed the cascade system. I can see how it for it, no doubt about mm -hmm. it. Mm -hmm. It takes up less room on the roads when you get doing a car accident. It's easier to maneuver. You know, you go off the road or you got to go down one of them camp roads or wherever you happen mm -hmm. to be going. Just all the way around is easier and better, lighter. It can almost eliminate your brush truck. What is it? That's your brush truck. If you're going to use that for your portable pump and down in the field, and we'd probably damn near eliminate the brush. That's what I'm saying. That's what, yeah, yeah exactly. Because oh, yeah. I mean, you know, yeah. honestly, how many, how many calls a year does that even roll on? Not, none. I mean, I'll be, I'll be perfectly honest with you, and I'd say this in front of all them guys over there too. But that truck's useless in my. What's it, it worth? Is it sellable? I don't know if you can legally sell it. Because weren't all those donated by the they, military? Yeah. Jesus, you're talking. Yes. No, they were donated by the place National in Old Guard. Town, up in by the airport. What, I've been there. I can't the National remember. Guard? No. That's not the National no, Guard. It's right through, it's through Maine Forestry. It is? You get a whole forestry unit, you ask them. I, I, it came through them, and they've got, they, you know what, it, like when you go into Old Town, and you go up the back way. Oh, the yeah, airport, yeah, 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 yeah. Right, up to the ranger station. Right there. Yeah. That's where that truck come from. Um, and they used to have, when you drove up into the back, there was a whole line of them because that was the deal. If you got it and you broke something, you go get parts down there. Huh. So, But they donated one to just about every, de I mean, just about every department in the state. They so did. But it was, was a state agency. Yes, and the, but it was a time. I can't remember how long. I think you're well past it. I think it's ours. But, I have no idea what the rules are. I, but I, if you call, you're going to find out. Yeah, I can, I can definitely look but into it. But I think it was a five or ten year deal. Well, we've had it for a lot longer. Than oh, that. hell yeah. I mean, you had 20 years. So forest rangers used them. Yeah. It's an old army truck. Uh -huh. it's an old okay. Six, it's old they got it from the feds. And then they, oh. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Wow. yeah, they came from the federal hey, government. It probably has some value, but it's not going to offset by this vehicle the, you're talking about. Every town had one for a while. I mean, every, every department, well, just about every department in the state has one. And a lot of departments you drive in them and you'll see it parked out behind their station <laughs> in the woods. <laughs> Everybody uses a parade deal because it's an army truck. Nobody yeah. really uses it for anything because... Uh, okay. Uh, 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 uh. It went to one call last year, and, and it never should have gone. Well, actually, it was two years ago. It was Justin that drove it, and he's been gone for over a year now. So, uh, Jeez. And I told him. I, uh, so it's just taking up room uh, over there. It's right. actually at the town right now. Sits outside all summer. Yeah. Sits out here in the park. Oh, that thing. Sits yeah. out That's when, when red, white, blue. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Oh, that. So, I mean, is it worth truck. <laughs> is it worth looking into to see if if there's any monetary value to help offset the cost or something? Like it's that? definitely worth looking into. Uh, you, know, you ought to just know to know. Yeah, you ought to yeah, just yeah, know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. You know what yeah. I mean? Then you do know. Right. Um, the other side of it is, I mean, it'd be nice to know it as well because even though you're not using it, there's 
a little bit of money here between maintenance or, or sure. whatever. Right. And it's probably, I'm guessing, it's on our insurance. Mm -hmm. ah. So if, if it's really, it's, if, it, if it's at the point you're not using it, depending on what the insurance premium is, you might not want to happen around anyway. Right. Sure. But. Well, and particularly if we end up bringing in another vehicle, we just don't need to pile them up. Right. right. So, right. I mean, we we moved the loader out because we're not using it. Yeah. Right. And, and we, the town realized quite a lot of money out of that. We're still trying to sell the bulldozer. Um, so. Yeah. So that's definitely, definitely something that I want to work towards before we crap out on that truck. And then, I mean, we're known for our cascade system. Wagon Hill was a, yep. that's what we've always been known for. Yep. We had the first one in the county. Yep. We used it. We use it all the time anyway, but last night we used it. Damn near emptied it. Hmm. Well. <laughs> well, uh, one thing, horse. as far as the big picture goes, if you if you ever have any suggestions as maybe how we might get involved to help start that conversation, we're all about it. We just don't even know where to start. Well, like I said, to get you know the Dover chief to agree to something like that I can I as long as my chief this is what my concern is is my chief as long as I'm not going to get railroaded like I thought we did last time mm -hmm. I wouldn't have a problem with you didn't like that no I didn't <laughs> I didn't like me it wasn't that fun I didn't really care to be liked. <laughs> um, but I wouldn't I'd be willing to invite another town manager or anything right here and have a conversation I mean, I mean, to be an open one, you'd be, you know what I mean? If yeah. he was going to do it, you'd be here. It wouldn't Absolutely. Be, we wouldn't do something. I mean, that would, again, if you found a like-minded person in another pick right. of town, right. that, that's how something like this gets started. Sure. That's they, all it takes. They're up, they're up there. I've yeah. had this conversation with quite a few different, because everybody's struggling from manpower. Correct. Right, right. And a lot of people don't want to talk about it. Last night, you know, midnight? Yeah. For a structure fire? Mm -hmm. It used to be... You used to bitch about having so many people standing around. Every, yeah, you had too many trucks blocking the road. Yeah, there'd be tons of people standing it's around. Like a rock and concert. And, and, yeah, right. and that used to piss everybody off. Anybody who walked by said, why are all these people? Yeah. Now, also, you had the exact opposite problem. Right. Yeah, now it's dangerous. Well, yeah. it's it could be to that point. Yeah. But back to what you're saying, though, this, this is where, to me, where this conversation really needs to be because, you know, if we could figure out station one, two, three, you don't need two pumpers in every department, or you don't need as many trucks everywhere. Oh yeah, yeah and it could help help you get a truck you want because you know maybe you may not need something else. You know what I'm saying? If you could yeah. put the equipment where you want it and the dollar value you where you need it, definitely divvy it up. I mean, they right. just bought this incredible ladder truck. I mean, I, not that we're going to buy one of those. Sure. Corinna just bought a beautiful truck. At least from what I read, they spent half a million dollars on it. Yeah. So I mean, we just all have to get more efficient about this and the manpower is everything right? manpower is everything. Mm -hmm. it doesn't do any good to have a building full of trucks you don't have to drive <laughs> i mean they look it's pretty useless. Much, but <laughs> it's useless i mean our tanker right now which is still going really strong but probably within the next five to ten years that's going to need to be replaced and it needs to be replaced with a truck that anybody can drive i i i'm the first guy to tell you i'm dead set against automatic transmissions because if you come over here and tell me, oh yeah, I know how to drive a truck, I know how to drive a truck, and I say, well, get in, let's go for a ride, and you go down through and you can at least shift through the gears and back down through them, I know you've got a little bit of experience. If you get in there and hit drive and push the gas and go, I don't know what you've got for it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But it's got to come to the point where, just like they're doing with the big trucks on the road right now, I mean, now they're making provisions so that you can get your Class A license for only automatic transmission. Oh, jeez. Yeah, but that's a whole other. That's a whole other. So I only had one more thing to talk about. I'm glad. I'm very happy with the way that that conversation just went. That was a lot better than I was suggesting I would get. That's good. <laughs> well, hey, and we. These are good conversations. I mean, we appreciate knowing what's going on. This next one's easy. Uh, so we have our old jaws and our old cutters. And you know, monetarily, they're not worth much. Maybe you might be able to get fifteen hundred, two thousand out of them. But where we just got this huge donation, I'd like to pass that on to 
maybe Wellington or Cambridge or find another small department that could use something like that. But donate it to one. You guys are good with I like that idea. I fully support it. I don't know if we can do that. Sure you can. It's an asset of the town. I can't sell a $500 truck without getting permission. You can sell. Yes, you can. Under a certain value. i got to get permission. You already have permission. Under a certain value. Under $500. No, $5,000. $5,000? It's 5000 Okay, well, if, as long as we're good, as long as we have permission, I don't have a problem with that. Right. I like, like paying it forward. You can no, too. Yeah, because we just got these. You're gonna. Get... You're gonna. You don't need the. You, you'll use the new ones that you got. Oh yeah, we don't. Need yep. You know, you're not losing by doing this. No. no. You, you're not gonna give something away, and you have to add something to your new set to make them work. Right. So the set that you got is complete. You're ready to go. It's better than what you had. Great. We're almost ready to go. No, no, but I mean, as far as for what it is. Yes. Yep. You don't have Absolutely. to spend. More town assets or any? Yeah, I don't. But, but we're not selling. Okay. We're giving. I mean, I can get you the value of them, but they're not much. It's 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 yeah. how the we, authority we, is the problem. That's the question. But we could, but we could put it on the warrant and ask if that we I know we can. Do. Yeah, that no. we and absolutely that, that can. Do. We're, we would be donating it to it. And, yep. And that would go on the warrant, which would be January, I think February. Yep. If That's you, it, by it then, you'd so. have a proposal. I want yeah. to give them to Wellington. And we would put that on there. Yeah, and they either, you know, you're going to, somebody's going to stand up and say, well, Chief, what do they think they're really worth? And they were going to go back and forth, and they're either going to grant right. it or not grant it. Right. But I think that's, I think that's really. It's probably is. What we have to do. Well, let's see the verbiage. That's what matters. If it says. Well, selling is easy. But that's what I'm saying. If it says sell. Yeah. <laughs> donating it because I know we can receive donations but I don't think we can give don I don't know if we can give them well if you, I think the way to kind of clear it in your head is imagine something not as worthy but still charitable mm -hmm. we couldn't just give them no, no, because no. we thought it was a good idea right right this isn't really what is any it? different did you find it no no it just says you can accept oh oh uh, no, but it says we can, what does it say about us? There's something there about us selling or something up to 5000 Yeah, we do have a limit on sales. I do know right. that. But this isn't a sale, so it doesn't right. pertain. Right. I, I think that's the approach. If we find out something different, we'll let Let's you know. Let's sell it for a buck. Oh, yeah, you could yeah, do that. Yeah, you might do that. You could do that. To, but to, I think, ideally, would be that you identify. name who's going to get yeah, it. Identify yeah, identify the yeah. department. Yeah. And then we can tell the story. We got this from Connecticut. Yeah. Here's why I want to do this. No, I'm good with that. And I, I think that will probably fly. Give us a little bit more time to get everything all hooked up. Sure. Done. Make sure everything's. So I mean, I think, I think we could go either way. We can put it on the warrant. I'm fine with that too. But I think that's the way to go. Me too. Yeah. Yep. I mean, you ain't talking very long. We're gonna have a town meeting here soon. I we know, are. So yeah, we're Chad's probably in February. Do we have a uh, a date? A date? No. 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 No, but we shoot for earlier than later. Second January. January. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we haven't discussed this. No, we no, always have. <laughs> no, we're not. Yeah. Soon. I mean. Right. February sometime. Right. February would be late. It, it, we're hoping March is not even a consideration. That's right. our plan. Okay. Okay. One more thing. I thought the last one was one more thing. <laughs> yeah, I did too. I took my notes. <laughs> Budget. I want to. I've been talking with Lorna and working and plugging in numbers. And with the increase in minimum wage, our payroll is really taking over our budget. So we're looking for well another ten thousand dollars, and we got it in there where we think it would be used the most. Is that something we can get on the warrant, or what do we have to do to make that happen? It's going to go through the budget process. You're going to present all that to Lorna. Yeah, I'm sure. Yeah. No. And if you want an opportunity, once you get everything together, to talk to us about it and the budget committee about it, you'll get a chance to do that. Okay, that's what, that's what yeah. I want to do. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You'll let. Yeah. I'm yeah. working on it. We'll yeah. put it in. That process is really quick now. So once she's got, yeah, she'll, she's gathering numbers for everything, yeah. and we're going to set up meetings with the budget committee, and you'll get to make a presentation. That's all I have. Fair enough. Yeah, good. That's very good. Good. Very, very good. 
I don't have to sit here for the rest of this. No, no, you don't. You don't. That's why I put you in the front. <laughs> but you can. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Man. Thank you. All right, back to item two, approval of the minutes, select board meeting 12-7-2021. Make a motion to approve the minutes. Second. I'll approve. Uh, we vote. All three in favor. Uh, item three, review of treasurer's warrants payroll 105, 107, 109, accounts payable 106, 108. Make a motion for review. A and B is read. Second. All in favor. All three of us are in favor. We don't have an open session. Old business library. Oh. The library <laughs> is closed for anybody who's listening and didn't already know that. Right. Uh, they and they have left they have a letter they would like us to read is that right so fair? i'll read the letter all right um Sangerville, the uh, heading sangerville public library board of trustees so this is from them december 9th 2021 today it is with great sadness that after 97 years the sangerville public library board of trustees voted unanimously to close the library effective december 21st 2021 with declining patron numbers only 14 patrons using the library, and circumstances beyond our control, we felt it unfair to ask the town of Sangerville to continue to fund the library. The trustees would like to thank the town of Sangerville and its residents for their support throughout the many years. Respect respectfully submitted Linda Hall, secretary for the Sangerville Public Library Board of Trustees. And it was a good run. Yes. Yeah. Almost 100 years. Those numbers kind of reiterate the whole conversation we just had with the fire department. Yep. Right. Yep. I mean, we are definitely turning into a smaller retirement type community. And mm -hmm. and all of these things cost so much money. Yes. I mean, we, mm -hmm. we that was 14 people. We were spending over $20,000 a year to do that. Mm -hmm. um, so I, I, I appreciate them taking the lead on it. So. Yes. Okay. Uh, we did the fire department, so we're going to go right down to cemetery mowing bid. I have the cemetery mowing bid. We have one smittal. The one I'm trying to like to have it on the budget. Cool. There you go, sir. Oh, that's the town mowing bid. Yes, that's the PJ's lawn care. Yeah. yeah. He went up a thousand um, due to pricing. So does that go in there? Gas. No, that's that's the right. One. Yeah, the bid is for eleven thousand dollars for cemeteries for twenty twenty two. And that's up a thousand. Yeah, that's a ten percent increase over last year, I guess. Yeah, yeah. And he's the only bid that we have. Uh, so this, I guess, we make a motion to accept. Make motion to accept the bid from PJ's for the twenty twenty one twenty twenty two cemeteries. Cemeteries. Yeah. Second. Okay. All in favor? Mm -hmm. Yes, we are. Congratulations, PJ. Now, this is the town mowing. We okay. received one bed. Again, just one. Same as last year? Same as last year. Uh, is uh, the amount of money? $200 increase. Uh, uh, what's the amount, Dale? Total. It's $4,700. Last year it was $4,500. It's $4,700. Tell him what you got. Tell him what we got. They, they, he does basically the ball fields and around. The, the the, yes, the town, the public works, the signs. Yeah, okay. Yeah, 23. 23, the um, Veterans Monument. Um, Make a motion to accept. Second. All in favor? All three in favor. And I have the final contract to start the 2022. 2023 season, and we had one as well. Same as this year? Same as this year. It's kind of a theme. Mm -hmm. Can we table? Yeah, we can table. Or you want to recess? Or you want to, what do you want to, do you want to table this discussion? Yeah. So you will hold off. I, I don't have any objections to tabling. I don't, would, no, I don't. So for another date, Dale? Dale? Yeah, no, Next I mean, meeting. Well, I just, honestly, that's a very large sum of money, and I would really like to see if maybe we'll get a few more quotes come in. I have no problem with that. That's the business, the, the biggest expenditure we have, that's, isn't it? That's right. Why I would like to table. It. Yep. All right, I, I would second the motion to table and give a little more time for bids. 
I mean, it's not like we need it today anyway. No, we're all set for this year. Yeah. All right. Uh, okay, we vote? Okay. Yep. We really just need it for budget. 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 Yeah. All right. Yeah. Yeah. And we actually, uh, we have officially tabled this bid, but uh, we could go into budget with an estimate and still be open to mm -hmm. other yeah. possibilities. So yeah. um, we'll see what happens. Um, item seven, town manager's report. So I am working on the budget. I'd like to at our next meeting, January 5th, be able to appoint a budget committee mm -hmm. um, and send out some notices for people on the budget. And you were looking to have how many on the budget committee? Three to five. Okay. And we appoint. Mm -hmm. You basically, if you could find people Get of the interest, yeah. then, and then we, we would look at them and if, I, I don't know, have we ever reject? I guess there always, there has been a policy about having husbands and wives on the same committee we had we ran into that once. That's the only reason I think somebody didn't get appointed. But um, that's how that would work. Do we, do, um, we said three to five, but no, no alternates or anything. No, like I don't yeah. see. Okay. okay. We don't have enough meetings to worry. You know what I mean? I think I really think this should be one and done. Two times. Right. I'm hoping the following week, after the second week of January, being able to hold a budget committee meeting and and the select board yep. to approve it. And I'm hoping to have it all done by. Third week of January, completed the budget. Sounds like a good goal. That way we can have town meeting in February. Yep. Great. Sure. Perfect. Um, anything else? No. Um, we will be doing, tomorrow will be our year end, so everything will be done. So, um, so I can actually, a few things we're waiting on for bills to to get for the budget, but we are having a significant increase on a lot of things. Um, Central Maine power is going to be our biggest increase. Uh, public water is going up 12%. Who do you buy fuel from? We buy that from A.E. Robinson. I need to, we need to look into uh, I would, better pricing on fuel. I would suggest, and it's been suggested a few times over the years, getting a hold of the superintendent in oh. Guilford. Because I think we can all team together as one to get a better price. Mm -hmm. The only thing is, is I know they burn a lot of pellet now, so I'm not sure oh. how good of a price they get. Um, we might be able to piggyback that's, somebody. I mean, yeah. Um, yeah, and or just each other. The library closing is, I mean, we still heat. We, there's no not heating that. No. no. I, mean, I mean, we turn it down. But yeah. Is there, there's no water out there, correct? No. Just Which, electricity and heat, right? Well, I'm just wondering how low we can. I mean, it's baseboard, so it's you gotta have you gotta make sure it's circulating. Yeah, you gotta have the zone on. It can be damn cold. Fifty. I I put it down the same as this room, which is fifty-five. Yeah. So, with no more of a library, the amount of square footage we're using in this building is pathetic. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I think it's time. We've talked about a town, new town office. We need a new town office. We have structures. Can we push this mm -hmm. and do something? I mean, with this that just, gone, that just, to me, that's like the final nail. Yeah, know. so we have two people in the office. Yeah. Two people. Two people. In this three-story theater. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And uh, the needs. More money and prices... The prices are increasing, really? electricity is going, it's all going up. It's and nothing has changed from the foundation issue that we found mm -hmm. out about two years ago. We haven't I mean, done anything about it. No, that was, then the estimates were between three and 400000 just for the foundation. I'm right. sure it's more. new in, but those things typically don't get better over time. No. Nope. I mean, I would be willing to, willing to bet that this, those cracks are probably a little worse now than they were. Uh, mean, so where we're headed with this is... What would be great is if we could get to a proposal to a level that could be presented at town meeting. Where a, and it's got to be pretty close to you know a number for it to have any meaning or teeth. Um, I actually talked to a manufacturer housing place in Brewer earlier this week just to get a feel for 
1,800 square feet. He said 160,000 bucks, and that's but that's a base unit. But we need we need a plan. We need you know to come up with a proposal. Here's what our building would look like. Now he said that if we could uh, bring him a uh, you know basic floor plan, he could provide us with a kind of a rendering that we could show and, and get us a more exact price. Um, but is this something that, Lorna, you think you could kind of spearhead? Definitely. Um, it's kind of be like a general. I mean, we, you, we need, we're thinking, I think the three of us have kind of, we've traveled all over Sangerville. Mm -hmm. We've all kind of agreed now that somewhere, I think, on Pleasant Street, McFeeders, that piece of property that we own, we should be able to find a spot there on city water and sewer to put in this little building. Mm -hmm. uh, is it at the town garage? Is it down the street further? Is it up in McFeeters? Personally, I don't really care. We, there's got to be an optimal spot, but we own 20 plus acres there. So we should be able to find something. And it will, it won't, we won't need a leach field and we won't need a well. So wherever we put it there, we're going to be on city water. So well, we need to fly ground in them. Yep. Yep. Right. yep. yep. So we, you're, you're going to need, basically you're going to be like the GC. You're going to, who, who's going to do the groundwork or who, what would it cost? Um, you guys are perfectly suited, I would think, to determine the layout. You work here. Right. Yeah. Uh, you know, where do I want the town manager's office? I've, I'd really be curious about your input. I like the idea of now that we've had to, we had to go to this counter type window service. I like, and I absolutely agree. It should, it should be like a telestyle type. When you go into a bank, you have a telestop, and that's yeah. how it should be. You, the person gets up from the desk and goes to... Newport, have you ever been into their town office? Mm -mm. It's a fairly modern town office, but that, you, it's not much bigger than an ice house when you get to where you interface. Now, well, the office right? back there is plenty big. It's a uh -huh. little glass. You pay your taxes, and you leave. Uh -huh. there, you, there's uh -huh. not room for 15 people to hang around there and chit-chat. Right, right. Uh -huh. um, Interesting. That's, that's the big thing that I've noticed since we've gone to this, with me coming in and out a little bit of... But the loitering is done. Mm. It's done, mm. yeah, absolutely. You know, and that's really, in, to me, that's a good thing. Oh, yeah. But it allows you guys to be able to do the work that you need to do. Yeah. But it also, it's a lot better environment, I think, when you're coming in to do things. because mm -hmm. It is more efficient. It, well, and for me, it was sometimes uncomfortable to come to the town office right. with a bunch of people loitering. Right. Right. Because you might have three or four guys talking about hunting season right yeah, there while other people there. are registering vehicles right. or paying right. yeah. This doesn't happen anymore. No. Right. Um, I don't think we need a public restroom to the extent that we have one now, but we might need a restroom where when you're having a meeting like this, right. people can get that. So that's kind of the stuff I'd like you guys to kind of noodle, see what you think fits. Okay. Um, I mean, what do you guys think? If we could put this together, I would love to propose it. Right. And I, I mean, yeah, I'm not afraid of a modular type building. At the same token, it'd be in, to me, I think it'd be interesting to get a, if we could get a few prices that way and then somebody from like a lander or somebody for a stick bill, and then that way there you actually got a comparable, but one building to the other, I personally have no preference. No. I don't know if the vocational school in Dexter still builds a place every year, but when they, years ago they built a home every year. Is that right? Yep. They do, but the only thing you get into in that scenario is you're potentially looking at a multi-year project. And if, because if that were the case, maybe that would work. But I, don't, I'm just, I think we ought to be open. No, I, I know that they built um, Mr. Edgley. He has a, he built it as a garage or had it built, but I believe they did that. Um, so they didn't get the whole thing quite done the first year. So you know the following year they come back and finished it up. But it is an option. Saves a tremendous amount of cost because mm. I believe when you do that you pay materials and that's it. Wow. So. The other thing is these funds that we receive. They might be usable for this project. The COVID really the COVID funds. Really, yeah. yeah, I was going to look into that because that does. Because we're improving all sorts of efficiencies and things like that. I don't right. know. And for a pandemic that we've been in, this building's not efficient. Correct. To, right. to run it the correct way because of the pandemic. Well, where... not only that, but it's not it's not cleansable. No. Right. Absolutely right. not. Right. And I think that's where the... I think 100... To me, I from what I've read about this, I feel 100% of those funds could be used on this project. If that's true, between that money, 
and the money that we're saving, you know, with oh, the library oh, yeah. and the loader that we sold, this project really might not Shouldn't. cost much money at all. Right, no, right. Um, I think in terms of the uh, common area, I think this room is plenty big enough. Don't, I mean, we do voting fine in here. What did we get for length? 27 by 21. So if you look at a, uh, if you went with a modular, most of those are 28. Yep. 28 by 60 or whatever. So uh -huh. 28, 20 feet right there. there you know what I mean? Just like half the building is this and half the building is the rest. you guys and that's pretty much it. Yeah. And and in that building was like like 160 grand bare bones building, but right. still that's yeah. that's not a crazy right. number. Do those modules always sit on a slab? Is Do that how they work? work? I think he, he's. Have them on a slab or a basement? I would think so. Out. Yeah, cross wall. Yeah. No, 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 I didn't know. Yeah. yeah, I think for our purposes, whatever is cheaper and would stand up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they either crane them on or I've seen them. Um, um, Foreman's was a modular beside the store, mm -hmm. and if I remember when they did his, they actually uh, they put I beams down and they set it on it and oh, they wow. rollers and rolled Just it across. Slip her on. And, yeah, kind of but the manufacturer will have yeah, right. they yes. take care of yeah. all yeah. that. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Um, yep. Anything Sorry. else on that? No, I mean, if you run into something, Lona, and you need some help, don't I mean, hesitate. You guys call. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I mean, between us, to meet, yeah. yeah, yeah. We need to have whatever little quick workshop. Yeah, you need right. a workshop. Okay. But we okay. definitely want to push this ahead. The only thing I was kind of, and I'm not steering you. You do. I want you to do the layout you would want to. But I like the direction you're going as far as clerks, last town manager. Um, so where you're in the office per se, not necessarily have them sign needing a separate office. So when we talked about this before and how we would do this, one thing that I was, especially going to the non-public restroom and mm -hmm. things like that, instead of the town manager being a office area, being the desk of every day, like in the past we would use it, I was almost thinking in a new building you could take that same space and almost have like a round table type thing in there. So that if you did meet, need to meet with a contractor or if we need legal or whatever, you would have more of a an area to go work that's com quiet and peaceful. You know what I mean? A conference room. Correct. A small conference room. Make it like a small yeah. conference room, but it could also be used for a mini place for you guys to have your lunch. You know, if you wanted to go sit in there, to mm -hmm. it wouldn't have. Yeah, you could have a sink, microwave, sure. a little refrigerator. Yeah. Piggyback it to the to the bathroom wall. You know what I mean. So yeah. everything's right there. Yeah. But because I mean, most of the time now you're pretty well in the room unless you're right. in the back. So yeah. so <laughs> it's I don't think you really need the deputy clerk, clerk, town manager like we knew we talked about this. Mm -hmm. Is all mm -hmm. I was trying to mm -hmm. just trying to think about how you would do it a little bit different, but utilize less floor space because you're using it as a multifunction room and things like that. But you'd get the lead on that part of it. Okay. We don't really work it, so no. it's. Yeah. It, does, it sounds like we're in agreement on the interface with the citizens. That we're all Absolutely. kind of that bank Absolutely. type. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. so. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, anything else on that? A road commissioner's report. I did. Um, I did call Lucas Stripe, and they're going to get back to me on the crosswalks, McFeeders, and I also asked him for um, East Sangerville Road to give me a support on that. So they'll get back to me next week. Good. I think that's a good, good idea. Good. Yeah. I do think uh, along that line, I think just if you hear from Roundies, because they are they haven't gotten paid, I think I think I would like to speak to them mm -hmm. before we actually, before they assume we're just writing them a check. Right. So you might just let them know that. They, they know they're not getting paid until next budget cycle. Next budget cycle. At the earliest. Uh, so just... That's all, I think. But I think we're probably going to want to have a conversation before you do budget. I think it would help them. Mm -hmm. Because, I mean... It might not... Well, we'll have plenty of... We'll, we'll be able to spend whatever's allocated on road work. Mm -hmm. uh, whether it goes... That amount goes to them or not remains to be seen, I guess. Well, we'd like some kind of explanation. My only thing that I'm thinking, Mike, is I'd like to know... I'd like to have that conversation with them to have an idea of how much is going to them. And that would help us know how much... We're going to want to pave next year. Right. I don't want to pay, yeah. plan on 150 for pavement if I think I might have to pay them X. Right now they I need 40, 46. 46. 
Yeah, almost forty seven. So, yeah. I mean, but we're we're looking at doing half of the Silver's Mills Road approximately. So I mean, we may have to budget two hundred, mm -hmm. two and a quarter. Yeah, easily. If we're going to have to eat forty. Mm -hmm. And I did uh, speak to Paris Farms yesterday about culverts, and I just wanted to go over that with you just a little bit. I need to pre-order some. If you do the steel, the shipping is going to be very expensive, he said, unless I can get it, unless they have some in um, Newport. Mm -hmm. If we go with plastic, it's not so bad, he goes. They seem to have a longer life, and they're not corrugated, so the water, so it's... I can I can check with uh, Newport first to see if they have any. Do we have a culvert count yet? We really need to know, no. uh, get a plan on what we want to do. We don't I even mean, have I have a count of what we have left in stock, and we really need we really need to to get at least something ordered because it's taken a while. To we get haven't it. even picked no, a, a target road for next year. No. Year after, I mean, we need to plan next year's culverts for the year after a baby. Mm -hmm. Correct. And we haven't done that, so we don't even so know. So we have what no we idea what we need. No. No. And that's going to make a huge difference to whether you get in plastic or. Oh yeah. Because I mean, if we go with the theory of in town, um, for me, if you're going to do a bunch of small in town culverts with not a lot of dirt, like mm -hmm. that one that's down by Mike Pratt's, as much as I do, you may want to do metal there because yeah. you don't want to have much stuff coming. Yep. And how does that work with the plastic isn't corrugated? How does that? How do they? They do say it, it with it not being corrugated, the it water flows it, better. The water flows better. The, the debris flows better as well, so it doesn't get clogged as, up as much as well, it would the, in steel. It's the ones that sure. are sure. the double wall, yeah. the inside wall is not corrugated. The outside wall, it still looks like corrugated. Okay. It gives you a lot more. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's what I was. Rigidity. I, I, yeah. yeah, that's what I was worried about. Yeah. Okay. I see. It's still. I got it. Yep. I understand. It is something we have to consider short. Yeah, yeah, sooner, sooner than later. Later, because it is it is going to take a while to get to the department. Okay. And you know how many we have currently? Yeah, I have an inventory. Okay. I guess when we get to budget season, mm -hmm. that will be what we need to know. Mm -hmm. I don't mind having a few extra, but ideally we would have it laid yeah, out. Where you're going to go. Yeah. yeah. yeah well, I just hate like how to buy a bunch one way and then you my luck is you end up using something different. Right. That, yeah, no, that, I don't want that it doesn't two dozen covers sitting out there for five years. That doesn't yeah, and no using too, the wrong and I know we bought from Paris Farms, but um, last year in Yelper, they had a pile of culverts up there at the hardware store. So I'm not sure. If I know Dexter okay. Lumber carries yeah. the plastic ones. Mm -hmm. They don't they carry the metal. Call around and yeah, listen to see compare. who's got for yeah. options. And I'm. What about even calling through the state down to. Is there, maybe there's an option there. We could buy through them, too. I don't know if we can, but, but I mean, they're, they're buying a pile sure. of metal culverts. I will check. So. Have we given some thought as to what the next road's going to be? That's what I was going to say. <laughs> exactly. When do we decide that? When do we... Well, we had some conversation about doing some in-town, which obviously the culverts are going to be zero or few. Well, you're going to do all your driveways, maybe. Yeah, that's that's really, but that's what I'm saying. You're talking all, what, 12, 14 inch? Yeah. I mean, you're not talking but any. Like you said, they may be metal. Some of them may want metal, yeah. Right. But for the most part, you're not looking at heavy heavy traffic. And mm -hmm. You're not looking at logging trucks and things like that. Mm -hmm. um, but we, but, and we were, we were hopeful that Roundies would walk one or two of these streets to give us an idea of what we could, you know, anticipate per mile. Maybe it's another reason to get him over here. Maybe that's a job he'd be interested in doing. If not, I'd reach out to somebody. Yeah. Because mm -hmm. it'd be nice to get something for a number. Yeah. I mean, we know we're gonna we know we we're gonna do Sangerville from Brockway to twenty three. So we need to get a price right, on that. Right, um, yeah. yeah, and this, that's all culverted. Right. Dale's, I did get a complaint from a citizen. What? Dale called me on his cell phone yeah. and complained about the road. Yeah. <laughs> there are bump signs. There's a few. There are bump signs. <laughs> not enough signs. Some of them get bumped off. Yeah. Honestly, so we know we're going to spend that much in asphalt. Uh, it would be good to get a quote on these in-towns 
uh, on yeah, some in town streets and we'll figure out how much of town yeah, we can do. Yeah, 1.3 miles, I think it ended up being for the in town streets, all of them together. Okay. I think you just, you're going to whack it. You're going to do them all. That's what I would love, be great if we could. Yeah. It'd be done for 20 years. Right. Well, and for me, it's 1.3 miles. How are you going to split it? You know, right. You just, just I mean, you could go side. half and half, but I would rather not. Yeah, I would rather not, too. But we just need a price. Okay. Um, anything else? No, I, seems like you're ratting me out for calling and complaining. <laughs> um, I am concerned about what silver smells. That is bad. And I know we have some signs, but people, I, people are not slowing down. I just can't believe that. And actually that's, I know, kind of a dumb idea, but that's what I honestly called Mike to ask is, we think about, I know the bump signs are there, but is that enough to cover us? Oh. Or should we put a something about reducing the speed for the winter or something like that? Because, I mean, some of them is, I'm at 20 miles an hour now. That's, I just, I don't even bother to speed up and slow down because there's no sense. And they're plowing them okay? I mean, that must be a challenge. Well, yes. It's, <laughs> yeah. But the problem is, is now the... Some of them aren't bad, really. Some of them you can drive right over, but some of those, the frost is acting different. And I'm really worried about some of these culverts that are in there because some of these right now are up that much. Oh, you know, so... I make sure our bump signs stay up to date. I think yeah. that's key to the town's liability. Yeah. They're in my truck. Yep. Along with the state one. <laughs> <laughs> They're in there. And I noticed, I, you guys did, I'm not, you guys try to do them on trees and on, I just stick to the poles. And who cares if it's on the wrong side when you're going the other way? I think you can see them better. Okay. And I think it would be easier. Yeah, we tried. I did both sides. Yeah. Both sides. But I mean, as far as on the pole, like if you put a bump sign put on the side, side of the pole going that way, put it right on the same okay. pole. I think it would be that. easier to keep them there. It's better than nothing. Yeah, yeah. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. And the, the other part I like, I like about the ones that are on the pole is you can see it better because, you know mm -hmm. what I mean, that's clear. Okay. And it shows up better. My telephone poles? Is that what yep. you're talking about? Oh, yeah. Okay. I'll take care of it. Yeah, yeah. Some of the ones on the tree show up really good, but some of them... Mm, oh, I know. So I just... The pole's more cleared around it. It's, yep. The lights hit them better, and, but I just... It's going to be a rough winter. <laughs> he was very, very upset when he called me. Yeah. Irate. Yeah. Well, he was polite. I was, yeah. oh. They aren't always. No. <laughs> <laughs> Anything else? I don't think so. No. Make a motion to adjourn. Second. It is uh, five o'clock sharp.